I don't know what to say about today's show. I, I, you know, I could say that it's uh, two newbies. I can't say it's two newbies because Morgan Murphy's here, everybody, and she's she's done the show before. And uh, Daniel Kellison is here. Usually, he's one of the people over there clapping for the guests. Yeah. Uh, so you got to clap for yourself today, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, what do you call yourself? I'm a producer. CEO of Jash. CEO of Jash. I'm a producer. Video Podcast Network. Yeah. A producer of this program. In, yes, indeed. And today we found out that um, my friend from the, uh, I did his show, The Smoke Box, uh, Be Real from Cypress Hill, was going to be here today along with Morgan. That would have been a super tight show. But Sorry. instead, we're stuck. No, <laughs> instead, so Be Real had to cancel. T today, he canceled. Yeah. And it was last minute, and we still wanted to do a show. Yeah. So uh, Daniel Daniel was, somebody threw right. Daniel under the bus, said you should just make Daniel be a guest on the show. And it's also just exciting timing to have you on because uh, the viewers probably don't know this, but Daniel was a longtime producer with uh, David Letterman. And uh, yeah, Thank applaud you. for that. Yeah. And I heard some rumor that Letterman retired or something last night. Yes, <laughs> he's gone. He's out of the game. He's vapor. Do you think he's going to retire, retire? Or do you think he's going to show up on uh, Kelly Ripa and Michael Strahan and shit like that? I don't think he'll do that. But I do think that um, he sort of did an interview on in the New York Times where he was talking about the fact that he wanted to keep continuing sort of on a smaller scale. So I was thinking something like The Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder. You know, I could see him doing a longer form conversation without the bells and whistles. Like, I think oh. that would be a good thing for him to do. Yeah, like a Bob Costas later kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and I think then he could engage in people and have like Elon Musk or, you know, somebody that he's interested in talking to as opposed to a vapid celebrity. Sure. What about yeah. this? What about Morgan p pitching the idea of uh, David as some sort of recurring character on Two Broke Girls? Ooh. Would he do it, you think? I don't know. I think By the way, he, 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 he thinks he probably likes Kat Dennings, Demings, right? <laughs> Maybe. What's not to like there? Right, and if it were t if it were insulting enough, like you're the janitor or something, you'd probably be interested in something that was sort of mildly insulting. Like, I mean, I think in the self-deprecating way that sure. he is, if it were like so insulting, yeah. you might actually take it. He's all about staying in Connecticut, though. He wouldn't want to come out to California for anything. Oh, no, no. But he did spend a lot of time out here. and he, In the past. And when he we- He used to commute for years. Yeah. He used to fly to LA every weekend. Yeah. Really? That is just nuts to me. You'd think that the odds would catch up to you and you'd have like a scary flight and, and want and to get out of flying all the time. I used to live in Connecticut and like near him and people always talked about how they almost got hit by his car. Like he's a real- yeah, he's a like, maniac. He's yeah. a regular Adam Carolla on the road. Well, he used to start taking the subway because he was getting speeding tickets and, and uh, he would stop driving and take the subway. People didn't believe that he was, but he's taking the subway. He's pretty down to earth, I think, that way. And when we came out here, we would, uh, uh, we would, he would always get fat burger, like a ton of fat burgers and come in and bring them in. And he liked California. I could see him sort of settling. Maybe not. I mean, he does, <laughs> you know, I think you it might think be past. You Harry out here? And <laughs> no, I think he's got a nice life out there. I don't yeah, know. I don't, I mean, I'm not really Just it. the fact that he wants to retire to me implies that he, he's, he knows how much fun he's going to have being retired. Yeah. Like that's, he's just going to hang out with his kid. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, he's earned it. Here we go. It's 419, oh you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've smoked. I've smoked with you before. We talked about yeah. that before the show. We've smoked together at uh, poker uh, parties. and right. uh, But I never thought of you as being someone who gets p p stoned in a bad way. No. You mean you know, uh, being a bad stoner? You're well, not we'll going to go Pete Holmes on us. I, <laughs> well, yeah. also, well, wait, I got to know the backstory. In Pete Holmes' defense, he yeah. was on the last Are we supposed show. To be smoking? And he was very uh, Pete Holmes like. Oh. oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, you can keep talking. It's not quite 420 yet. But, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, you, know, you know how it goes. I just yeah. pick I just if you're whatever I want. Now, now I got to ask. Oh, there is a carb on this. Okay. It's okay. It's not against the rules. It's just you got to be smoking at 420. That's what I really like to go for. But Pete was just. Pete was just Pete. Like he's just like he's when he's in a situation where there's a microphone and you know a potential an audience. Yeah. He does his thing. He uh, yeah. he's very obnoxious, but <laughs> but it's funny. I I think. Enduringly obnoxious. <laughs> my not my fear is always that I say too little. Like I I it's not that I shut down. I just I'm so interested in the conversations around me when I'm stoned that I don't say that much. Yeah, because everything's that's, that's fine for that's this show because there's always somebody that's you know overly chatty, you know. So it, 
works out. Might yeah. be you today. Could be today. me. I'm gonna try to dial it. All down. right. Well, it's 420 on the West Coast today, right now. Again, right? Ding, 420 somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of those throughout the show, Morgan, that we've, uh, we've put in to really God. make it a high-tech program. My mom watched uh, the last one I did. Should she like it? I think so. I think so. She, she, uh, we had some device that I thought she would like. We had like a <clears throat> pen that I was pitching. Last time I was in New York, last like a couple weeks ago, I took her to a store and she got a, we got her a grinder and a, uh, a, you know, a dugout and a bat and some, wow. gave her some pot. It's all happening. That's great. The problem for me is going to be my goddaughter watches this and read college. <laughs> and she's going to call my daughter, who's probably 15, and go, oh, your dad was getting stoned on uh, the show. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of uh, conversation with my ex-wife, I think. Aren't you already, though, the producer of a show where this happens? And your name's mentioned all the time. Yeah. I don't know how much math my daughter's done. Right. They might not put it together. You're I right. mean, she's so not interested in... in I mean, she likes like when she sees Sarah Silverman and stuff, that's cool to her, but but everything else, I talk about it all the time. Like my dad sold, you know, um, uh, sewage treatment plants in New Jersey, we drive around, and I was perfectly content driving around in his Buick all summer. And my daughter comes to the show that we work on and she's like, can we leave? I'm like, isn't this exciting to you at all? Or, <laughs> no, not at all. You know, that's sort of how it goes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't have anybody, uh, <laughs> Concerned about? Yeah, I have, I have nobody in my life, so I have nobody that I have to tell when I do anything. Really, it's yeah. pretty exciting. I didn't have to tell anybody I was doing this. Yeah, well, I almost no, told my I, there's nobody I tell I'm doing this every week. <laughs> we'll just keep doing it. Yeah, I guess everyone probably knows by now about you too in your immediate circle. Yeah. <laughs> do you have like neighbors who go like, who go like, hey, pot guy, like who know who you are, but like aren't. Do your like neighbors fans, knock on your, general, you know. Do your neighbors who knock on your door asking to borrow pot? No. No. No, they haven't. Because I don't, I'm not like cruising into my door and yelling, hey, neighbor. You know, I don't draw a lot of attention to myself. It's one of those big buildings where there's a lot of people coming and going all the time. So you don't even really. Same building? You see different neighbors. Yeah, yeah, you've been there. Oh, your building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that being said, um, it's uh, People rarely say anything to me, but it's getting, you know, it's getting more and more where people are coming up to me in <clears throat> situations where I'm like, this isn't really the time to be screaming in my face about <laughs> how much you like watching me get high. You know? <laughs> We're in line at the TSA or whatever. Yeah. Or it's, uh, it's synagogue. The sativa today, yes, when I go to synagogue. Yeah. The sativa today is Barry Rabbi. White. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And the uh, indica is King Louis OG. What did I just smoke? We're smoking sativa unless oh. you specifically request some indica. I produce and Barry then White. We'll put one it time. in one of the pipes. Oh, I'll take some indica. I produce Barry White on Letterman, and he came on because he was selling a fragrance, and a Barry White fragrance. And I still actually have the container it came in because it was embossed. It said Barry White. I was did, it, did it smell? I hope very vanilla. It smelled <laughs> or, or very berry, very powdery. <laughs> powdery. Yeah, wasn't the best. Did it, sm it smell like cocaine? <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, did you, you put it indica in this, Gabe? Not that one. The charm. Oh. oh, and which one? Good, the Chong one. I, I think we have been doing it that way. I forgot. The uh, this is a pipe that uh, Tommy Chong gave us. Wow. Oh wow! And uh, it has the indica in it, so you can go ahead and try that. I, was wait. it whittled in the pen? What is it? Where was it? Is it is oh this, yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe this <laughs> thing. Like somebody it. gave it to him in prison. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a prison pipe. It doesn't it? Yeah. But I don't think so. I don't like think they made it out of a doorknob. He was good in prison. It's a shiv also. So. Yeah. <laughs> They made it out of a doorknob. Somebody dull did. Dull shiv. Yeah. Just really have to force well, it yeah. pretty hard to get some action. Yeah. Okay. We have to talk while Doug's smoking. That's sort of how that goes. Oh, sorry. I was just smoking while he <laughs> was smoking. Maybe we should figure out something to no, say. No, the silences on the audio podcast. Whenever it's that quiet, I'm laughing on the inside because <laughs> I know it must be really like. Do you ever listen to a radio personality that loves long pauses? Like I, I don't, yeah. I'm not a fan of Rush Limbaugh, but yeah. I get it. Like those yeah. pauses make you go, "What the fuck? What are you gonna say?" You know, they right. draw you in. You know, so yeah. if people are listening to this and you just hear sounds of people getting high, yeah. It's when like, Howard gets serious, happening? he'll 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 take long pauses. Like yeah. and it's uh, but normally he's so fast. No, no, no. Like but that's what's serious. But he also like I heard him say yesterday. He's like, uh, "Is it okay? You think if I take a drink of water right now?" Like he was yeah, yeah. so worried about having a drink of water, even. Where I was like, I would drink water. He's like, what do I care? I'll have a drink of water. Like that was part of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it 
if you want it. Like the trouble is like as a performer, when I go on a talk show, I just get into this vibe where I'm like fucking around with the mug the whole time, right. just cause it's there, you right. know? And it's it's more comfortable to, it's something more natural well, while hanging out. I didn't have a, a drink. drink on stage the other night and I didn't know what to do with, uh, I realized that a lot of my gestures and my bit, like even if I would do this, I would do it as if I had a drink because I was used to having a drink. Yeah. Um, punchline. It's a good prop. <laughs> It's a good prop to have. Let's do some I'm high gonna be, I'm going to be in delayed laughter, by the way, I'm sure, because I'm, now I'm feeling stoned all well, the time. That's what my jokes deserve, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's do some high history, Daniel. Morgan's been on yeah. the show, so we already asked her this question. Oh, I should have prepared for this. Uh, you don't have to prepare. No, I should have thought, like, Just what? tell us, like, do you remember, like, how sure. soon it started? Yeah, and, and for my 15-year-old uh, daughter watching now, I was 13 when I started. Oh, well, maybe I, we shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. I wouldn't have minded you avoiding no, that. No, 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 no. I, I, and, and here's the thing. I think she knows that, that it wasn't necessarily the best path for me to be smoking as much as I did all during my teenage years. But, but, uh, uh, and I'll just say that, but I, I, I smoked for the first time, I think on a chairlift, because I'm from Vermont, <clears throat> with my buddy Colin Irving, and uh, who I'm still friends with. He lives around the corner from me now. Can we get him on the show the next time Be Real cancels? Yeah, it might be more interesting than I am. But, this already uh, sounds terrifying, yeah. by the way. Colin Irving? Or no, 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 ski no. Lift? getting stoned for the first time on a ski lift. Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's, um, that, that would be a good way to just convince yourself you should yeah. never do it. It wasn't <laughs> the best idea. And I wasn't, you know. Um, but we love being high on roller coasters, Morgan. We do. Yeah. We've done it. Oh, twice. yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that exciting. does sound like fun. We went to Magic Mountain fun. two weekends in a row because yeah. they give you a free ticket to come back the Twick next it. weekend. Oh, wow. And so we're like, well, we got to come back. <laughs> yeah. It's free. You only have to pay for parking. That the sounds time. awesome because when you're skiing, you're actually responsible for your own yeah, destiny yeah, yeah. and your stone. Yeah. But on a roller coaster, you're, you're at the mercy of, yeah. you know, that operator. But that seems like that's fun. I'd do that. No, that's the thing. It's all. I'll do anything while I'm high that someone else is operating. Right. You know what I mean? Not like, flying airplanes. Like tandem jumping out of an airplane. Right. I did that, you know, with a guy attached oh, to me. Oh, you did that? I did that yeah. too. And I, was, I wasn't stoned. I was no, very high I for wasn't stoned. And, oh, um, you were. What? Yeah, why not? I don't Dude. have to do anything. Uh, <laughs> but what, what happens if there's an emergency when I'm high? But what happens if there's an emergency while you do this and, you, and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what my senses about me. Where's the fucking ripcord on the parachute? I think if there's an emergency, your senses would go right into, oh fuck, yeah. I'm dying. It, weed's not going to make you go, oh, you, what? You, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe your last thought is like, how they, weird is it that I'm about to die? Do they tell like, you? Tell yeah, no, that's, that's my good. problem is I don't want to die an embarrassing death and I'm pretty sure oh, I will. Oh yeah, and you were stoned on if it has anything, If it's any kind of accident that was my fault, <laughs> then it's like, oh, we got high and fucking walked into a, the tandem, The tandem parachute jump also, though, that would also, you would also, people would also go, oh yeah, he was stoned. I guess, but then, you know, the responsibility to pull the chute is the other guy. Yeah, you know. But so the other guy doesn't tell you before you go, like, hey, if anything happens to me, this is where you uh, pull the chute. I'm sure they they give you four hours of instructions <laughs> before you do it. <laughs> but I was high and just sort of like, you know, it's like the, uh, you know, don't tell the flight attendants this, but I, when they say, did you read the thing about how to remove the exit right. door? Yeah. I always say yes, and I, you know, I glanced at it a couple of times. I'm terrified that, that that's going to be called into action one day, and I'm I'm going to be don't sit in the row. exit row. I like to sit It's a gray room. row. It's a better, better it's room. It's the place to sit. If you're going coach, that's you, where we're going. You get the leg room. You get, you know, no kids allowed in, in the exit right. row. So you're not going to be able to bring your dumb baby in the exit row. I don't, it's not a dumb baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're talking. Clyde isn't dumb. Well, he's not, he's and not I'm smart. I'm proud of myself for remembering I mean, Clyde. He, he, that is very impressive. I'm a yeah. one and a half year old also. But I oh, mean, one and a half now? Yeah. Oh my God. But he's not, you know, smart. I mean, he's a, it's like probably the brain of a puppy. Well, I'm glad you're the first person that's ever had a kid that if I said to them something about your dumb baby, they wouldn't yeah. be offended. That's, I'm very grateful that you have a sense of humor about that. Yeah, but don't you think like if a puppy dog and my son were together, he's who would. He's taking it literally. Yeah, my kid is dumb right now. <laughs> I'm just saying my that he's a fucking dumb I baby. I a puppy, my problem shoot quicker than my son. <laughs> Speaking of problem shooting. No offense, Clyde. We'll uh, do this later on. <laughs> this this particular pipe was super nasty. Uh, you know, Margaret Cho's... Uh, that was wasn't why. <laughs> it was super nasty yellow for a while. Wow. God, the weed is completely gone and it's still smoking. Um, but Brent, who works here, is fantastic at uh, cleaning this thing. You know, he, made it, he brought it back to shape. So I brought in a challenge, a pipe I've had for years that I... It just sits there because I... It's, 
too disgusting for me to smoke yeah. out of. And it looks like this. Oh. Wow. Yeah, same kind of glass and everything. Same company made it, Chameleon Glass. But did Brent say how long it took him to clean that? He just, you know, he, he's proud of himself that he's able to clean it. Yeah. We've also got some other people here. Some how other uh, people claiming that, that they can make it really. So the challenge is to see how clean this could be for the next show. Wow, what a great challenge for Brent. <laughs> yeah, there it is. In all, in all of, of its disgusting glory. <laughs> And uh, we'll, we'll, oh, come, we'll and come back we'll have another to challenge it. for you the week after that, Brent. We'll keep them going. <laughs> Send in your dirty pipes to Brent. <laughs> my um, neighbor actually loves cleaning. Uh, he loves like cleaning my pipes, so I never have to uh, clean wow. it. It's very exciting. Well, there's something satisfying to cleaning something. It's interesting it's like dishwashing. <laughs> my neighbor loves cleaning my pipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I'm home for a long weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. He really <laughs> gives them the once over. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think dishwashing is somewhat, uh, uh, when you're done dishwashing, you don't get any pleasure from that? No, I like, I like, satisfaction? I get satisfaction yeah. well done. from yeah. getting it done, from getting it behind me. Yeah, but don't you sort of go, look what I just did? I feel like that. Maybe yeah. that's an R. Crumb comic, I think. I think that's an R. Crumb comic. Don't pass that attitude on to your dumb baby. Pass <laughs> the attitude on that, like, you should be better than doing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that it's my dumb baby now. <laughs> Always and forever. Yeah. Uh, no. This is your dumb baby. I'll forget, I'll forget to call your baby dumb. Yeah, does okay. your baby like uh, indica or sativa? It, good question. Yeah. Good Which question. one does your baby prefer to have blown into your face? <laughs> and how do you feel about child services taking him away from you? Because yeah. that'll yeah. happen if we keep this conversation going. Um, I want to mention real quick, we got to go to a break already, but a couple of uh, housekeeping pieces of business. First of all, there are these weirdos out there. <laughs> that are anti-pot or I don't know what their problem is or, or they're just mischief makers. But if a ton of people go on YouTube and uh, cite uh, that, uh, you know, uh, something should be pulled because of, what was the expression? Uh, uh, something oh, uh, uh, convincing people activity? to do dangerous things. Yeah, dangerous activity. Oh, inciting? Inciting or something. Yeah, so people use that on the Workaholics episode of this show. And so YouTube yanked it. So it's gone now. And I found out about it because somebody on Twitter said, hey, where's the Workaholics episode? And I said, right where it's always been, dummy. And it turns out he wasn't a baby. He yeah. was uh, uh, old enough to know better. Right. And uh, <laughs> he wasn't a dumb baby. He was smart. No, he was a smart person. And uh, so uh, as a result, uh, that's, that's when I found out from Brent what was going on with that. And that's how they got it pulled down. And so we're fighting against that sort of thing. We're going to get the episode back online. But in the meantime, Every time you watch an episode, please hit like, because if we get as many likes each episode as we're getting viewers, then uh, that outweighs the, the negative comments. If a lot of people are liking it, then YouTube has some sort of metric where they, they give you credit for the fact that people are liking it, and so then these hackers can't, uh, it's harder for them to pull it down. Yeah, although the work Alex one was very well liked. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's well, let's like them even more, you know, because yeah. because people who subscribe, people who watch every week, you probably like once or you like the ones you like, but just like every one, even when Pete Holmes is on. Yeah. So, um, and but people have very very got very mixed reactions about Pete Holmes. Right. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't like a, a lightweight. That's what they think he is, lightweight. But he was hitting it hard. Oh, yeah. And I don't think he was acting that differently than he normally I acts. People think I'm a lightweight, so I'm gonna keep. Oh smoking. yeah, yeah. You gotta keep no. smoking. Yeah. So you guys, is well, you. Is that on this one? Yes. Yeah, there is. It's you know. Where is cleverly that? placed right oh, there? Oh, right next. Oh, interesting. You can't That's see it though. Unusual. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a weird, like you're gonna light your. You know, if you, people blur their eyes, we kind of look like workaholics. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just blur your eyes. It's like you're pretend watching the Workaholics episode. If you're episode. a fan of the Workaholics episode, just watch other episodes and pretend yeah. it's the Workaholics. Yes. And uh, while you do that, oh, look at that. That's cool. we're going to do that. this. Ooh. It's pretty. We'll be right back, you guys.
That's gonna be like 60 minutes with questions. Marilyn Manson, Twiggy, and Pogo. Eminem, Mark Wahlberg, Limp Biscuit! Please welcome Britney Spears, Mariah Carey. I have another present for you. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Retro Video Arcade. David Deneen Porter here with my special guest, Nathan Fielder. Nathan, how's it going? Hi. Thanks for having me, David. What's the game you brought for us to take a look at this week? Now that we're actually doing it, I'm a little embarrassed to say. Uh, the game's called Hot Sister. So this is a game I play all the time. In the game, the main character, he is attracted to his sister, which is something that's difficult to relate to. Yeah. You basically have to distract yourself from remembering that your sister is the most beautiful woman in the world. All right. I mean, a reminder to people to send their dirty pipes in for Brent to clean. Oh, yeah. And we'll show one every week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nail in your dirty pipes. Yeah. All right. Let's let him try to clean this one, and then we'll go from there. All right. Um, one pipe at a time. Yes, 1,362 people are watching right now in spite of the uh, fact that we went, you know, several hours past when we were supposed to start. That's and uh, And, you know, well, I wasn't complaining about Be Real. Like, he has legitimate reason for canceling. Yeah. Yeah. And so... Uh, uh, excited been... to have him on in the future. And people have been begging for, for him to be on from the start, so... Yeah. There are people happy who, to do there it. are people who fucked us much worse than be real in terms of like last minute. Well, at least the more casually, like he had a real situation. He had a real excuse, yeah. Yeah, a real excuse. Who who fucked you? I don't want to oh. name any names. Sorry. Because <laughs> when did they come back on? I knew you were gonna say that, but Yeah, I was like, we might uh, have Adam Corolla back sometime. So <laughs> I don't mind seeing Corolla. Corolla. Kevin Smith good. might be back. Yeah. Those are like, the guys that canceled day of because they're so busy that you know, they didn't do it out of malice, but they that's the kind of lives they right. lead yeah. is every day they're disappointing somebody. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. They're, they're they just have wrong. to cancel shit. Yeah. They got a lot to do. Um, but yeah, you think somebody in production would know not to do that. Daniel knows our friend, the uh, uh, monkey that we have on set that uh, a little, he's a little lighter head. It's actually Clyde's toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's for one year olds. Would you give that to a one year old? Uh, yeah, to I mean, play what, with? yeah, they're get, what, they'll get burnt once. I they'll mean, put it down. Well, what do you think? You think it's? But don't you think it's a little? You're also asking. It's a little too. Uh, How do you heavy? describe it? <laughs> 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 I went to a concert the other night, and there was a chick with a full blown a lady. A chick. A girl. A woman. I said chick because I was I was in Adam Carolla mode. Yeah. Uh, a woman. No, it was a young lady, but. In the pit at a show inside has a fucking air horn and starts laying <laughs> into it, laying into her air horn. And the singer on stage was even like, as Paramore was the band, she's even like, uh, even says something like, oh, there's somebody in the audience has an air horn, you know, like, well, that's weird. <laughs> but then nobody stops her. She continues to air horn every once in a while and nobody comes over and says, stop. She got it, like, she walked into the, like, you have to have it in your purse or in your clothes. Yeah. Like, I couldn't ever imagine going to like, I'm gonna go to Staples Center, you guys. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm <laughs> off to the, <laughs> I'm off Let to the concert with my air horn. By the way, it doesn't hurt your ear to do it, but for us, we're sort of like this. I know, I, that's what, that's yeah. the power of the air horn. Yeah. I think it's messed up. That Paramore thing must be just young person apathy. That's what I think it is. I don't think- No, people... she was trying to get her attention because towards the end of the show, they pick somebody to come up on stage and sing a song with them. Oh. And she, that people have signs and stuff, but this girl was like air horning, like, look at me, look at our sign. And it yeah. didn't work. Yeah. But also good security at that, that. I remember that venue didn't do any kind of search at all when I walked in. Really? And what, I was what just venue? like, why did I leave all my weed at home? Where was it? Uh, just a big, you know, one of those big Verizon oh. concert places yeah. in, in uh, Texas. Oh, really nice facility. And I had a nice time. Yeah. And after the show, I was hanging out with the band and there's like this fenced area where they let all the crowd stand around and look at the tour buses and stuff. Uh -huh. And they'd all, the crowd would all scream every time one of them from the band would walk by. Yeah. And it was like being a uh, captive in the prison on Walking Dead. 
Oh. It was just hundreds of people at the fucking fence. Oh, yeah, like, like zombies. At go, you know, what, yeah. like if they could get through that fence, <laughs> it would be on. It would be on, not me, yeah. but. <laughs> yeah. But it was super fun. I had a good time doing that. Uh, thank you to Washington, D.C. for once again being. Uh, the most viewers per capita of our last episode. Wow, wow. Three in a row, three times in a row. Do you think, do is you it think the per capita numbers that it's, is maybe it's just messing it, with it? Because there's so few people there. Really good at being the capital of stuff. <laughs> I have another theory. Like it's the capital of our viewers, it's the capital of our kind. It's just it's bloody a good capital. city of being the capital. Maybe it's people looking to um, their, their regulators who are trying to sort of see. I wonder whether there's people looking for the wrong reason. You know what I'm saying? I could be stoned right now. I think I know what you're saying. You know, like what people, were we like, talking about? Like Big Brothers, like oh, the yeah, Washington yeah, yeah. DC. I'm saying like, CIA why so many people in Washington? Stuff. It might be all these agencies okay. looking at us. My cousin works at the Pentagon. Maybe he asked his friends to watch. <laughs> there's that many agencies. <laughs> we're and they we're have like, to, oh, there's they have to keep tabs the on yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on. It could be. Like, what are I'm, these guys up to? Yeah, yeah. That's that's uh that's pretty super paranoid to think. Government cares about whether or not we smoke weed. You know, we're we're instigating the youth of America. Are we? No. <laughs> Thank you. We could Fair. sit here and drink all day, and no one would complain. I all am day. It's true. It's I true. am normally six a.m. By the way, and that's a great point that you make all the time, which I, I quote all the time, which is that when you're drunk, you go out, you crash your car, you get in a fight, you're at a party, you're an asshole. Mm -hmm. But when you're stoned. You're, you're just the third one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you really can't hurt anybody else, right? Yeah, you could bore the shit out of yeah. them by talking for too that's long. Okay. Or you could not pay attention to what they're saying and forget their birthday or whatever. But, you know. But look at you remembering my Drunk is name. so much worse. Yeah. 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 No, I think drunk is bad. And I, and I've, and I really feel like I've learned that from uh, the show. Drunk is worse. Drunk is worse. Yep. Um, Let's yeah. do some pot topics, you guys. I'm excited about this one. A study published in the Drug and Alcohol Dependence Journal, which is such a fun read, you guys, if you ever pick it up. I especially recommend the crossword. Uh, they've debunked the idea that pot is highly addictive and can lead to bad withdrawal symptoms. People can become addictive to any substance. <laughs> any substance. That's, that's pretty sweet. Baking soda? Yeah. Get addicted, man. But the rate at which people become addicted varies per substance. I used to brush my teeth with baking soda, and I, I strangely started to like it because it doesn't taste good. Yeah. It's like those people who eat chalk and stuff. Oh, What's yeah. it called? Um, yeah, they eat dirt Fucking too. chalk eaters. What is, they eat dirt too? <laughs> yeah, they just they eat, you know, glass Fucking dirt even. chalk eaters. Yeah. yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not into, I, you know, that's You're probably why I stopped substance? doing it is because I don't really like it. I well, just, then they came out with the baking soda toothpaste. Did you do that? I did. I think that's what happened. You I sort of switched to that, and it doesn't taste as bad as putting the actual baking soda right. in your mouth. Yeah, um, it was a big thing when we were <clears> kids, probably around the same age. People would brush your teeth with baking soda, and then girls would wash their hair with beer. Do you remember that? Mm -mm. And then there was even a beer shampoo for a while. Maybe I'm older than you. I think that sounds familiar. Um, and, and alcoholics like Kitty Dukakis would drink it, and then there'd be like big scandals. Oh, really? Yeah. Like real? Like when everyone hides everything else? Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you, yeah. There's problems. <laughs> they they came Thank up you with. Thank you for getting knowing Kitty Dukakis. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's just like a guest on the sh any other guest on the show. Right. Like I'm re I'm looking at this thing ready to move on. I'm way too comfortable. I, yeah, I know. No, I gotta shut all, the fuck up. That's what they all do. That's like it's perfect. <laughs> it just shows. You just yeah. get high and just have fun. All right. Um, I'm just a taskmaster trying to make you do a uh, a uh, pot quiz hop shot. We're trying to adjust to you, get you in the right position. Um, dependence. Odds of it. Cannabis is at 8.9% is your uh, odds of uh, being dependent on it. Oh, so you say more or less? Huh? Is this a game? Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying how much you think cocaine is, how much of a chance of dependence of zero to 100% yeah. if you try cocaine. I'm going to say 
If you try you it, it's that wait, wait. addictive. If you try it, you'll become addicted. Or, you know, have it. No, but that's give, what I'm wondering. Give it a if you few have it regularly, goes, okay. Because sometimes one isn't going to do it. Because I think like one time you wouldn't be addicted, but many like six, seven times you start getting addicted. So I would say. I think this sounds like somebody. It's not clear how much they tried it, but it right. feels to me like the study was more like somebody did it a bunch of times. Okay. And and then they decided whether or not you know it's addictive. I. But what's cocaine? What is he said? Eighty-one percent. Well, now I feel like Doug's pushing me oh, towards. Right. A, I was trying wait. to talk you off of it, but Daniel gets to do oh, his okay. game. I would say forty-one percent, but I have another theory, which is not to go too far off a tangent. My theory is this: that it's not the cocaine; it's the person and their addictive personality. If you give them something that makes them addictive to it, like cigarettes or cocaine, sure. they'll be addicted to it. I'm not necessarily If you have an addictive personality, if right. you try these things, this is the percentage 42%. chance that you're going to become addicted 42%. to it. I want 42%. All right. Cocaine's at 20%, 20.9%. 20. Oh, wow. All right. But then where is alcohol? This is really interesting. Oh, gosh. You well, now go I'm going to go down. I'm going to say uh, <coughs> 41. No, I'm going to say 31%. <laughs> Daniel? I'm going to say 0%. The alcohol is addictive. <laughs> Are you? That is the most. That is that is the single yeah, most dumb answer saying. you could have given. That is the absolute uh, all right, right. Uh, le th least likely to be the answer. One like, percent would be no, smart. No, no. I was doing like prices right. I was trying to do prices right logic on this one. Well, then you would win because it was twenty-two point seven percent. Thank you. Oh. But that sounds. That seems pretty low that people can avoid getting addicted to alcohol. But nicotine, let's talk nicotine. Oh, I'm, I'm He's a, never smoked a cigarette. You're, I wish in his I had life. never smoked a cigarette. Yeah, right? Yeah, you hear that, Chloe? I'm putting my you daughter You know who out. else wishes she never smoked a cigarette is that, uh, that Betty Draper. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whatever her new name is. What was her new married name with the new guy? Oh, um. Do you know it, really? No, no, no. I, yeah, I should know it. No idea. She's always Betty Draper to me. I can't remember. Um. Uh, so I'm just gonna say. Wait, 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 I no, no, I want to guess. I want to guess. I want to guess. Okay. guess. I'm gonna say 84%. Um, Morgan. I'm gonna say uh, 81 again. Back to 81. <laughs> uh, it's up there. It's not quite as high as that. It's 67.5%. Oh, wow. I but mean, that's still pretty. And, that, and I'm in that 30 whatever percent, 32.5 percent, because I've tried it yeah. and I never, never got into it. I tried it a, enough times that. I should have kept going if I well, liked think, it. I, I, okay, I just, I'm, I'm in the middle of like trying to quit, can't quit, and I smoked for 10 years, once in a while, cigarette here, cigarette there. It was only the last three years that I, because it, like it after starts. 30 it started. Do you think, like weed could probably go either way for people in helping you to quit. Right. You know, like do it, it instead. Well, I obviously would, no, because I would never want to smoke cigarettes, I've prefer, got this. You prefer to get banged for your buck. If you're going to put something in your mouth and light it on fire, don't you want to have something happen? Yeah, and I also yeah. don't want it to be gross and yeah, pointless. Yeah. And like smoking a cigarette does nothing for me. Right. But, you know, it, I tried it, kills it a bunch you. of I'm saying I tried it a bunch of times. In my youth, I'd light one up and smoke it. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you're an extra in a movie and they go, here, smoke a cigarette in this scene. And I'm like, okay. Listen, Morgan, I saw my mom... You're blowing on it. You don't know what to do with it. <laughs> my mom, like her last dying gasp because of smoking, and and you know it, that kids let that be a lesson to you. It's uh, that's that smoking, the pack two packs a yeah. day. It's like you're just writing your own ticket. Look what it did to it's two packs. It shot him. It Good shot line. him in a car. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, I got to smoke more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I love will that. You, I you, love that. You, uh, can you give me something? <laughs> yeah. What can I Please? smoke can, out of? I'm this, sorry. Uh, I think I've smoked both of these. Yeah, we should uh, probably load something up because I've been hitting on all these things on this side. Yeah, we did a break. We did a break already. Yeah, but let's use the poke bowl and get load up a new one. This is a nice one right here. You guys can smoke from. Am I? On the Pete Holmes level, where am I right now? Am I like, well, straddling it? You're fine. You're fine. You're you're not as annoying or as funny. It's like the Mende Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm not a comedian. I'm a guy. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, the Mendoza line. <laughs> oh. You just need to see a little. You just need to see Pete. Every time he's been sitting next to me, he's like that. One time he did my food podcast and. I'm saying if there's any kind of audience, if it's just me and Pete, we could probably just have a conversation. He's not as bad, but like on his show, you made it weird. 
But right. mm -hmm. on any, whenever he's on Doug Loves Movies, Getting Doug with High, anything like that, it's all about Pete the entire time. Like he is just. Is he aware of that? I think so. <laughs> I think he. I think that's his winning formula. Is I think he just goes for it. I think yeah. he's just really, you know, and it's really funny to a lot of people. Have you said it to him? Said what? Like. Do you ever, you know, these theories? He he says out loud. He calls himself. He goes. Uh, he goes. I I uh, one time he was acting obnoxious on one of my other shows, and he goes, "Yeah, I was kind of doing my Doug Loves Movies character on on that show too." <laughs> you know, That's like funny. he kind of went into. I think he thinks it's different levels. Yeah, but he's a charming guy. And he's got a big smile. I mean, I, I think they probably feels like he can right? get with it. Yeah, I, I mean, feel like I I I could use a little bit of like a a little bit of that. Little of uh, the what? Just a little bit of that, you know, entering a room zest. That little bit of uh, fuck you, that was funny. That's his, like, uh, he is yeah. very he clear laughs, on right? that with yeah. the audience at every show he does. Yeah. If he doesn't agree with their, how they right. re react to what he's doing. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> right, but sometimes yeah. you suck it up as a yeah. professional and doing the next joke that they might like. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Could yeah. go either way with it. I was like a big laugher. He's a big laugher. But he and Todd, he and Todd is what everybody's begging that we get together. Oh, a show with Todd and Todd Glass and Pete Holmes. <laughs> we should do a word. And count. I could just like sit over there. And we could do a word count. And yeah, the I I'll blow we, with Todd. I'll blow weed into that fan and just point it at them. We'll get them as high as we possibly can. <laughs> just watch them both flip out. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who would. It would be like backstage when people are warming up for the opera. Me, 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 me. Yeah, really. Or you could curl on that one too. Get the three of them on. That would be good. That'd Corolla be good. would lay down in that threesome. You think? Mm-hmm. Because they can, because they, uh, <laughs> Todd especially, but they can both handle their weed better yeah. than Adam, I think. Oh, yeah. It's like well, fantasy, well. fantasy comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, man. That's a really good idea. I would, I like take, that. I would, I would watch take, that. I would take Holmes, man. I just don't like to make it a competition because that's a lot of people watching the show, like kind of, you know, they their comments are, I could smoke more than that guy or I could smoke more than you. Yeah. And I don't that's think, what they I don't th think smoking about. weed's about smoking more ever. Right. Yeah. You know, because I just smoke it constantly. So how can someone else smoke me? I'm just smoking all the time. Yeah. Oh, a bowl. And I never fall down from it. Huh. Once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> this is water in it, right? So I can't. I empty this uh, on that thing. No. What? Don't. Um, yeah. Switch pipes. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Let's not Which use one? that one for the you rest know that of the I show. Was a very good bowler as a child. Like I think you told me that before. Yeah. I don't think I said oh, it on here unless. Bowl? I, unless this... that's what happens when I get high, I start talking about my bowling. This one movie is good. <laughs> hey, where does this go? In the here? You know that's what always happens with Lebowski. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you doing this right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just jam my face into that <laughs> sharp. Uh, yeah. All right, and then there's pot. And then I there's feel like blood's pot. gonna start oh. gushing out of the top of my head. Which one is this one? Is this indica or is this sativa? Make sure yeah. you get a good shot of this. What? Is that indica or sativa? Oh, this is the uh, indica berry. What is the indica? Uh, yes, sir. Should I just smoke sativa? I, you know, what, do you, what are your plans tonight? Babysitting. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do post uh, David Letterman retiring? I actually have a conference call with a bunch of like investors after this. It'd be great. <laughs> do you talk to Dave ever? You know, I saw him at the, when I went with Kimmel, you know, uh, when he did a show in Brooklyn and, and Dave was on. I, I was super close to the guy and, and we don't really have a, I mean, I said to Jimmy, he was like, he's all the mailman. You know, it's really like, like, and I, I felt like I was really close to the guy for many years. So, but I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would definitely, I'm sure we could, I mean, here's the thing, when I worked for them, for him, my whole thing was I never asked anything of him. Like I would just sort of like, and I think he liked that. I just didn't ever ask anything of the guy. Like it was asking some of him all the time. Sure. But I don't know. I mean, I think that, that uh, uh, yeah, I'm, asking, I'm answering this as a stone person. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even remember what the question was actually. What was the question? Or was there a question? <laughs> Did you, were you ever high in front of David Letterman? No. Not while working with him, obviously, but like maybe a, like no. a work party or something. No. And he didn't like uh, he that kind of He doesn't go behavior. to things anyway, No, right? no. He'd have his own parties and we'd be there and, and we'd all have drinks and stuff. But he didn't like Tom Do you Flory. think he would have parties for the staff more out of obligation than out of that he thinks it's fun? Well, no. He liked the Christmas party. We'd have it at the rink and we'd go ice skating. So it, it was sort of a... He didn't have to like be stuck in the corner talking to a bunch of executives. Right. He'd be on skates and he could socialize people on skates. I thought that was sort of yeah. genius. 
So he just keep moving. Yeah, he enjoyed that party, I think. Okay. I think he's much more normal than people think he is. I think people think he's sort of this. No, it's almost. In a sense, it's almost like he's too normal. Like, like there's like you're not going to be allowed to be that normal yeah. on TV anymore because you can't be somebody that's not already famous and beloved and take the kind of shots he takes at people. Yeah, you know, like having Paris Hilton on and just insisting right. the entire time of talking about prison when there obviously had been a pre-interview yeah. where she was like, "I don't want to talk well, about yeah. it at all." And then one time, I, 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 it's funny when I was a segment producer once, uh, Christian Slater came on after he got busted with his gun. Uh, going Trying to get a gun level. on a plane. Yeah. Do you remember that? Why would he do that? So then so then the publicist was like, hey. He's like, didn't you see me in cuffs? Listen, <laughs> and Christian Slater was a big star back then, and they are like, you can talk to him about anything, but just don't talk about the gun. I'm like, all right. So I go to Letterman, and I'm like, hey, we can talk about anything. Just can't talk to him about the gun. So what do you think Letterman does the entire interview? Of course. <laughs> all gun. The whole segment. And just Christian, ask Christian more Slater about took it. it okay, where his people nope, were overly they worried. were not happy about it afterwards. I didn't know they definitely were not. But I think my theory about Letterman is that, that people, it, it's sort of like Cousin Sal with Jimmy. People who need to be fucked with a little bit, he fucks with. If you're nice and normal, you're I, fine. But if you need to, a little bit of a dressing down, he's there for you. Paris Hilton? I got no problem. Justin Bieber, no problem. Yeah, I mean, there's some instances where he has to do it for the sake of the show and for comedy, but like sometimes somebody will come on and they're clearly out of their depth and they're trying too hard, but they seem also like a nice person. Yeah. But he still has to take a shot if they say stupid shit. I would say, I would challenge that. I wonder who's not a normal person that, that. Crispin Glover is a pretty nice guy when you meet him. Dude, Crispin Glover. There was I, something weird going on that night. By the way, I <laughs> have. It was Crispin Glover. <laughs> I have his boot that he tried to kick Letterman with. He gave it to Dave. He bronzed it and gave it to Dave. And after the segment, Dave was like, you want it? I go, yeah, I'll take that. I have it in my house. Dude, you got it. That's worth yeah. some dough, probably. They showed two sh two frames of it. Yeah, I saw him that. Him sitting and then kicking. Yeah. I'm strong. I can kick. Yeah. <laughs> Leave her alone, Biff. <laughs> so good. All right. Oh, I just found out. I get to do a movie interruption of Back to the Future 2 yeah. on, on October 22nd, 2015. That's awesome. At the a uh, huge Castro Theater in uh, San Francisco. Oh, that's going to be so great. Yeah. That's wow, going to be neat. They, I wonder if they could tie that into a show, like we could do a show up there. That would be fun. Maybe. Sorry, I don't, I don't know. Sense. We got to talk I, after the show. I, I know, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, no, but I learned some interesting things about uh, about trying to do, mount this show in Denver, and I'll tell you, uh, or anywhere in Colorado, there's, there's some rules that I was not aware of. We'll yeah. talk about later. But we need to go to a break and we'll have one more segment and uh, stick around, everybody. Great day today, morning. That's my shit. They say LA is the home of the fakes. That's why I keep my residence east of Silver Lakes. Doing what it takes to get by and get a piece of the pie. I gotta buy a bunch of stuff that starts with I. Phones, Max, and pads, you better go ask your dad what it was like in the old days they had. Artists and crafts and skills, that's how they stack the bills. Nowadays, people only know how to snack on pills. For reals, don't you think that I can tell by the way that you act that you're going through hell? The psychological frontier is finally here. That's why I slam a beer and try to have no fear. Every night I dream I'm in a haunted house full of malevolent ghosts just trying to come out. They wanna put me in a grave, but I'll never be a slave to another soul's misery. It's me that they trying to bum out. Bump this with this dragon, that's my Chinese zodiac. Yeah. But uh, we did it, you guys. We did a show, even though Morgan is, uh, is concerned that she's too quiet, too high quiet. No, I'm not too high. I'm just, I'm just too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> too high quit. Yeah. Well, get more high, and, oh, but that doesn't make you more yappy, does no, it? No, I'm just not. People think I'm high when I'm not high, and they think I'm high when I'm high. I just have, I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to change. It's that. the energy, and I think you're a chill human being, and that's sort of what you got going right? on. Right. Yeah. I'm just trying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you not chill, really. 
Um, See, I feel like I'm spazzing out. <laughs> Good times. Like, I don't, do you think I've ever seen, witnessed you yelling at someone? I've never. Like angry at somebody? I've never yelled. I don't, I In your life? Um, I yelled, I, I can count like, I can count the number of people that I've probably yelled can at. You like going one, back to tell like seventh grade. Tell us one person you yelled at. I would like to hear a story. Yeah, and then, we'll, and then you'll get a treat as a uh, reward for telling us. One person. Oh no no no! I just I just screamed to someone to like get out of my fucking car once, and I was Who? I felt bad. A friend, like a friend, a very close friend, oh. and we're good friends still. You could say it was a guy trying to steal your car. No, it was just a. It was just a. So you were having a fight. You, you were fight. arguing in the car and said, "Get the fuck out." Yeah, and I like, left her in the middle of nowhere. Or? No, no, no. We had sep we had separate cars, but we were talking about something. Did you uh, hyperventilate afterwards? Were you sort of like, oh my god, my adrenaline is so surging now? No, it's just that weird place where a friendship gets comp like a friendship yeah. gets as heated as a relationship, where you're like, what's happening? This yeah. is yeah, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Should but be, I never should be uh, easier to navigate because you're not having sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Speaking of not having sex, <laughs> that's a weird segue. <laughs> Um, Can't wait to hear what's next. 1,473 viewers. We yes. gained a few. That's good. We didn't lose any viewers, right? That's we good. appreciate Morgan. your loyalty. Feel good. Teaser at Emily Post Institute came up with some weed etiquette. So uh, on an upcoming show, when I actually get to it, uh, we will uh, we will uh, get into this weed etiquette. Because I I kind of have, of the mind that you know let's just get together and everybody get high. I don't worry too much about the etiquette. But doing this show has taught me a lot of stuff about the etiquette, and uh, we'll see how we do it with this quiz later. But now, I mean, it's such a teaser. I, I know, one I little thing. That's what I'm saying. It. People are psyched for the next episode. Can you give us like, one little suggestion of something that might be etiquette? The little teaser for. All the right, teaser. let me. I'll pick something out while you guys watch a magic trick. It's game time. <laughs> <laughs> what a thrill to be on the other side of this. Right. It really it's a pleasure, is. Pleasure, Daniel. You've been great. Likewise, right. Gabe. Morgan, would you mind helping me? I would love to help you, right, please. Any card, any card. Any card. Um, this one. All right, memorize it, take it out. Show it to Daniel, show it to the camera over there. Fitting. Oh, is that a clue? <laughs> All right, I'll cut it back into the deck. Oh, wait, I should have paid more attention to that part. <laughs> one shuffle, and all I have to do is snap the card. Comes wow. I don't understand, yeah. That's but really then good. then all I have to do Shake it, and it actually disappears. Hey, the interesting what? thing is, you did see the queen, right? Yeah. But this entire deck is blank. What? Wow. Wait a second. That's the devil's work there. Stop it right there. <laughs> Cancel the show. It's so frustrating. Gabe, with we magic. need you to bring real, mad, real cards, not yeah. blank ones. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were all going to turn into the queen of spades after that, didn't you? I don't know what's going on. All it's right. Very impressive. Though. Good job, Gabe. Yeah. Pop quiz, hop shot. Pot quiz, it's hop shot. There'll be more weed etiquette in future episodes, but for now, I think my eye drops are spilling in my pocket. But for now, <laughs> <laughs> when, if ever, is pot appropriate as a gift? And while you guys think about that for a second, I will Thank say you. that Morgan Murphy's special Irish goodbye That's is available title. on iTunes, Amazon, and Netflix. And Daniel, <laughs> and Daniel you Kellison, you can read my Letterman years at grantland.com. And it, would you be insulted if I told you it was, I was surprised how good the writing was? Oh, no, I'm flattered. <laughs> good. Because <laughs> you always just come off as a dumb baby and... <laughs> No, it's really it's really a great article. Uh, it's super interesting if you're into Letterman, but also just uh, it's just good behind the scenes, show busy kind of stuff from a person who seems to remember what happened. Yeah, I can't write stuff like that because I just don't think you remember. I don't think my memories are fair. Um, answer the question: Can you bring as a gift weed? Um, yes. I said vote yes. What I do with that card? <laughs> I vote uh, yes also. Yeah, it's a great, it's also a great uh, housewarming gift. I think we're in a new world too. Instead I think so. Instead of bringing so. wine, bringing some pot. Yeah. You guys are just saying everything they say right here, you know? If you know for sure the host smokes pot, yeah. you can bring it. But remember, since it's a gift, your host does not have to smoke it with you yes. or even that night. 
Yeah. Which is how I always, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. A small glass jar, a pre-rolled joint or two makes for a classic presentation. Emily Post is saying this? Yep, the that's Emily awesome. Post Institute. Oh, That's not how her. I get it. I get, I get the dead. glass jars and stuff to give them as gifts you because do? I think they're so it's lovely. But this yeah. is through the spokesperson Lizzie, Lizzie, Post. Lizzie, oh, Post. Lizzie Post. Lizzie Post. Keep yeah. staying on the show. She took Show's an over axe. here. <laughs> <laughs> not Lizzie Borden. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Um, Are you I got some plugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst you, idea I've ever done. Yeah, I, I, I realized that the closer you sit to me, this happens when you're next to me at poker also. The closer okay. you are to me, the more exhausted I get. I'm sorry. I with, everybody. When you sit over there, I'm better. And when you don't come at all, I'm great. Arm's length. Yeah, I'm really great. <laughs> no, this has been awesome. I, I wish we had more time to talk about... Uh, all the things that you that you've done, you know. Obviously, uh, you've also worked with Jimmy Kimmel a long time, and we're, yeah. uh, uh, you know, behind behind the Man Show. Yeah. Right. And still had and still had. Creator. Listen to that. See, people love it. But you, and you still had women as friends, and still do. And a, I'm and a feminist. A, and a lovely wife. See, that's what I, I'm saying. I, I, in my yeah. heart, I believe that I am a feminist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've worked for you a lot, like a long. I mean, a long. A long time ago, and you never tried nothing. My brother tried something on you. Oh. What? It's true. Is this for real? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's true. I thought Morgan might be the family for a moment. I'm going to be at the. Uh, I did come to a Thanksgiving. I mean, you did come to a Thanksgiving, yeah. Sasquatch Music and Arts <laughs> Festival. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? No, oh. but are you, you know, you're have you ever done that, that Morgan? You're ignoring the part uh, that Morgan and my brother hooked up. Uh, ignoring I, uh, it? I got a show to run. That's all right. <laughs> I, uh, I have, it's beautiful, the one in uh, Washington. Huh? Is that the one in Washington? Yeah. Sasquatch. The Gorge? Gorge, yeah. I was George supposed Washington. to go, but I got to go to a wedding. Uh, but maybe next year. Maybe next it's year. It's really year. fun. It really does. Yeah. So it's this weekend. I'll be there. My set is on Monday, but I'll be hanging out all weekend. And, um, you know, uh, I feel like Sasquatch is my home. So when you see me, you should give me a gift like a housewarming gift of uh -huh. some marijuana, like a jar with two nicely rolled joints makes for a classic presentation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't give or me anything. Don't give me anything, people give me stuff all there the time, and I appreciate it. There should be a pot but... called Sasquatch. That would be a good name for a pot. Am I wrong? It's not bad. It's not bad. I just I, I think sound, they should get I'm away sorry. from everything that sounds scary or yeah. big or, you know, yeah. like a monster, you know, yeah. like right. just, you know, maybe Squatch. Would be a good name for weed. Ooh, Squatch. DougLovesMovies.com is where all my touring info is. You know where you can get the merch and the blue cards. And when's the next show, Daniel? Uh, I think in 10 days? One week. A week and a day? One week. The 28th at 1.15 Pacific time. So it'll be uh, 4.15 for our friends in the uh, central time zone. Right. Wait, no. I'm your ass. East, long guy. east, yeah. east. You should really know the time. Time I'm you lived in New York. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, yeah, it'll be <laughs> a fun conference call coming up. <laughs> At one fifteen here, it'll be four fifteen uh, uh, on the east next Thursday, May twenty eighth. Thank you, Daniel Kellison and Morgan Murphy. Thanks, Thanks everybody for watching, and hey. we'll see you next Thursday. Hey.